Hi there, and welcome to WMCT Live Sessions, which is a working title, by the way. This is going to be the first episode in a series which I'm very excited to get going. Uh, my name is Alex O'Neill, and first and foremost, I'm a musician, I'm a guitarist, a singer, a bassist, a pianist, uh, a modular synth user, I guess you would call it. Um, but I'm also the lead producer here at WMCT TV, and so I'm super excited to be combining my passions for journalism and music and to have really interesting conversations with local musicians. I'm joined in the studio today by Adam Clapper, who I'm very excited to have with me. I interviewed Adam earlier this year, actually, um, and I'm very excited to catch up with him and actually show you guys some of his music this time. Adam, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thanks, Alex. I'm great. Uh, I understand you just got out of work and you hustled over here. Really appreciate you being here. Of course. Um, and I also understand that you're going to be playing some originals for us this evening. I do. So what's this first song you're going to play? Um, I'm going to be playing a song called Changing Me by uh, Hope Squad. Um, you can find me on all um, on Spotify. Um, and this song's called Changing Me. Let's do it. Okay.
Excellent work, Adam. Thank you so much for that. Thank you wow. for having me. It's a pleasure. Awesome. Do you want to talk a little bit about your songwriting inspirations by any chance? Like, uh... Yeah, I mean... What I'm sort of stuff in your life or that's... musical influences goes into, like, that song that you just wrote? Sure, of course. Um, that's, that's a good question for, for any musician. Um, I mean, I enjoy listening to really anything um, that sounds good, you know, <laughs> genres-wise. I mean, I, I like... I like folk rock. Um, mm -hmm. I like a lot of acoustic stuff. Um, I've been listening to an artist called Needs to Breathe. I don't know if you recognize that artist. No, I'm, I, I'm not familiar with that one. He's an artist. He's, uh, he's from South Carolina. Um, they're a South Carolina band, and um, they do a couple songs. They have um, a few songs out that I, that I really like. Uh, one of them is called Hard Love. I've been really listening to a lot. Nice. Any um, southern influence in there by any oh, chance? Of course. Any country influence? Yeah, they're, nice. they're Christian too, which is oh, um, cool. Which is pretty interesting. Very uplifting music. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The, the, those Christian rock bands just keep getting better and better. I notice. Yeah, I recommend it. Definitely check them out. Uh, For needs sure. To I breathe. will. Yeah, I will. I've been I will. To them a lot. Um, so talk to me a little bit about Hope Squad because I understand that it technically is a collaborative uh, project that you work on with a couple friends, but also you represent. Hope Squad as a band by yourself when you exactly. go out and play. So exactly. what what's that like? Talk to me about that. So, you know, um, I put together, you know, my calling is to also produce as well as I perform. Mm. Um, uh, it's like, that's exactly what it is. It's a collaboration of um, other artists um, all bring in their own creative individuality to the table. Um, and I produce them and try to get the, release their music out there as their own individual artists as well. Um, and you know, Hope Squad is basically just an umbrella of uh, you know different different artists um, bringing something different to the table, um, is, is what that is. That's really interesting. Well, I, I commend you for going out and and playing these songs by yourself because yeah. as as a musician myself, I have played solo such uh, like very few times have I gone out and played by myself. I really think that I sure. rely on the other members of, of the band to kind of hide my mistakes for me. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm confident mm -hmm. enough to be doing what you're doing. So yeah. uh, I really, really commend you for it. Playing live. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about the next song you're about to play for us. Sure. So I got another song here. Um, I'm going to play a song called Father's Only Son. It's an original. Um, and again, this is a song that I have, um, that I'm currently working on producing and getting, I'm gonna be releasing that at the end of this month. Ah, so, yeah. so, so we get a little unreleased version there today. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> a little surprise cool. for you guys. I'm excited right. for it. Some, something special. Whenever you're ready, get into it. All right. I'm so thankful for all he's done He did the best he can Worked hard with his two hands Raised me into the man I have become Underneath the southern sun Where it all began A foster son Fell into the loving arms Of the hickling farm
face to a lovely daughter Long before I came along Oh, no coincidence These events happen for a reason Even if we don't see All the chapter of this story is nearly finished and it's still being written. Father's only son, father's only son, father's only son, father's only son. Excellent work once again. The live studio audience is loving it, as you can hear. Yes, that is special <laughs> for you. That's great. Um, definitely, definitely hearing the the introspection. Definitely hearing the the fact that uh, you, you, your songs are kind of like uh, they're, they're they're saying more than you ever could in an interview, if that makes sense. You know? Yeah. Like I, yeah. I, I, can, I can tell they're very personal and close to your heart. That um, was a that was a I wrote that at a tough time actually yeah mm. well thank you for sharing it with us of course today. of course all right so we're in the month of december uh so i have to ask i'm obliged to um what is your opinion as a musician of christmas music i know there are some dissenting opinions out there i know some people aren't the biggest fan of christmas music as a whole but what what's what's your take you know i think that's something that i would like to do um eventually is maybe like you know, write christmas music yeah write christmas music i have written a christmas song um that i have not performed um uh back when i was younger um i, I may remake um but as far as christmas music goes you know um if i was given the opportunity to um you know learn some christmas music or to play out some christmas gigs i i mean i would i would be all for it um i think um christmas is a very special time of year um, I believe that, you know, you got to be very sensitive to, you know, those that might be suffering and going through hard times. And I think it's the, the, the time to bring cheer and joy and, uh, you know, try to, you know, um, think of people that you love. And uh, I think it should be an uplifting um, um, time. And I, I, would, I would be uh, very happy to um, play Christmas music if given the opportunity. Nice. That's great. Yeah. I mean, like, th just what you described, being uplifting, like, there's no better way to experience that than with music, so mm -hmm. I agree completely. Um, I, I'd say maybe uh, working in retail for a few years definitely gave me a distaste for some Christmas music. I would say uh, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. is a classic. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to ask if, if you, by chance, ever heard of the My Chemical Romance cover of that song? Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you ever heard it? Sounds, no? sounds wild. I, I think uh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> it, it's pretty absurd and dramatic yeah, yeah, and theatrical, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely something I return to for nostalgia's sake every year. Sure, you know? sure. Um, um, so I'm also a musician. Right. Uh, I uh, have also taken long breaks from music as mm -hmm. a whole, like mm -hmm. I know you have. Mm -hmm. um, so... Uh, Th those feelings you experience when you when you took that long break from mm. music, do, do those ever come up again? Do you ever find it hard to stay motivated and to continue I, pursuing and creating music? It, and if if you do, if it is hard sometimes, then mm. what, what sort of mindset do you have in mm -hmm. order to avoid throwing in the towel mm -hmm. altogether? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a that's an important question because I think as musicians, you know, we have this constant pressure to always want to. Um, you know, uh, keep the ball rolling, um, you know, but, you know, with life, you know, there comes challenges. Um, you never know, you know, inspiration comes in waves, you know, it comes in waves and cycles. And, um, you know, the thing that encourages me um, to keep rolling, keep going is definitely, uh, to keep me in the mindset is definitely my supporters, like family, friends, mm. um, you know, those that egg me on to keep going. Right. Reminds me of why I love doing what I do. Um, you know, uh, another inspiration is just that joy of, of sharing your music with others and to know that people appreciate what you do. Um, that's always a really good feeling as well. 
Um, and also, you know, it relieves stress. You know, creating music, it definitely relieves stress. Um, it's, it's, it's an escape. It's a way to express yourself. Um, it's very important. I think music is very important. Excellent answer. I'm glad we won't be losing you to uh, no, absolutely not. I'm not going <laughs> to anywhere. lack of motivation anytime like, soon. Like I said, you know, like those times do come up, you know, but I mean, they're just a reminder of where I came from, where I've been, and just uh, uh, it's important for me to keep the ball rolling, you know, once it once it keeps going, you know, because I know what it's like to um, to lose that and to put it down for a while, and you never pick it up the where you left off. Because right. your emotion, your 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 You're life in a is different in a different spot, emotionally, physically, yep. everything. Yep. Yeah, yep. and and to just to stop playing like all this noodling and all whatever, you know, you're gonna forget some of that stuff, all that, you know, in the, like in time, you know, and kind of pick up where you left off is just, um, you know, you gotta you gotta be persistent and keep it consistent and uh, awesome. keep it keep it going all as right. much as possible. Well, in the spirit of keeping it going, uh, do you have any goals for next year, for 2023? Um, anything big, anything small? Do you just want I to do. continue playing live? I do have some goals. What do you um, have planned for us, Adam? So I, I, uh, you, what you can expect from me is more released music. Um, I currently am sitting on about eight songs, um, one of them being what you heard, Father's Only Son. Um, Alive um, is another song uh, that's an original that I'm really excited to put out there. Um, and uh, I'm also working on songs for other people as well. Um, I'm working with Ethan Gavin um, on mm. a song called Purpose. Um, and, and that's someone you collaborate with regularly, that I collaborate, if I yep. understand. Nice. Yep. Hope Squad. Hope Squad. <laughs> but as also his own individual artist, I also put him out there under nice. his own name. Um, and uh, Going Home is another song I think I'm working on with him. And then um, I'm also working on... Uh, another artist uh, that goes by the name of uh, Tell Me Something More Beautiful. Um, his name's Eric. Um, he's out of Clinton. Um, I perform some shows with him. Um, I got another show with him coming up next next week as well at the uh, Hotel Vernon. Um, but he, I also am releasing some, I have already released one track of his called um, um, Are You Getting It? And he also has a music video. You can find it on Spotify. Uh, it's called Are You Getting It by East Craven. Um, that's his rap name. But his uh, other name that he goes by is Tell Me Something More Beautiful, and that's more of the musical side of him. Um, so he's chose me to produce his music as well, a along with this other artist named um, uh, um, uh, Merciful. Um, I got a song with, with her out um, that's going to be put out this month called um, Devil's Angel. Um, this is hip hop. This isn't the genre of, of that. That's the genre that they're under. Um, it's going to be a song called Devil's Angel, and uh, also Knives Out. Knives Out is another song I'll be releasing for her. And um, wow, I'm working on some material also with uh, Eric. Um, another song is called um, uh, April through May. That's something we're currently working on. Uh, that should be released as well. And I think there's some others, but oh. <laughs> Uh, Where I've Been is another song. It's wow, an original. It just that, keeps going. <laughs> yeah, there's about eight songs, you know, that I got That's coming crazy. up. So I've been busy. Wow. So you can expect more performances. The goals is just to release more music, and to keep performing. Um, I, I've been focusing on production, so I haven't really been performing, but I plan on, um, you know, getting some gigs going again soon. Um, Do you I have any upcoming break. shows? Anything booked at the moment? Not booked. Um, I just played some shows at the Raven. I played a gig at the Raven. I opened up for some bands. Um, a classic Worcester institution, for yeah, those absolutely. of you who don't know. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> you know, and then, uh, um, you know, I've been playing at uh, Tackle Box and nice. Flying Dreams. You can nice. find me play at Flying Dreams as well, Tackle Box. Um, where else? I mean, Liberty Tavern in Clinton. Wow. Um, I did a folk festival um, for the. I, uh, we, we sold some tickets for the Dramatically Incorrect Theater in Lowell nice. uh, for a folk festival. Very cool. Um, some people attended that. Thank you for coming out, those who were there. Um, and, uh, and thanks for having me there as well, Dramatically Incorrect. Um, and, you know, and um, West Ender in Marlboro, I think I played there. And um, 
you know, there's there's been some others as well, but crazy. Not to if, mention if you put any I more think. pots on your stove, you're gonna need another burner, my guy. You have so much going on. With we're gonna music. look for. We're gonna. I need to need to need to keep it going though. I want to get keep like you said, keep the ball rolling. That's um, awesome. Good for you. I've been taking a break because of production, so I've been right. taking. Right. Uh, well, a break. It, it seems like yeah. you're going strong. You're here with yeah. us now, and we appreciate it. Why don't you tell me about your final song that you're about to play for us? Um, it's a song called Alive. It's about a love about um, a couple that just, you know, one summer their love blossomed and it turned into something beautiful. And here it goes. Third time's a charm. Well, I mean, for, first times, first times. No, yeah. there were no extra takes. This is all done live. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, Adam, I really appreciate you being here with no, us today. You did such an excellent job. I hope to have you back sometime once we get this rolling, once we have uh, a, a graphic to put on the TV, once we have some higher production value. We'd love to have you back. Thank you, um, Alex. But thank you so much for kicking off this series. Once yeah. again, this is WMCT Sessions, uh, working title. Probably we'll call it something else at some point. Uh, my name is Alex O'Neill. Thank you so much for joining us, and have a great night. <laughs>